Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I normally do product reviews on photographic gear, audio gear, video gear. Well today, a bit of a departure, I'm doing a follow-up review on my telecine machine, which is this one here. If this is the movie stuff retro scan universal, it's a great telecine machine. Now I've had this unit two years, uh, just over two years actually. I bought it in July 2016. And I have run literally thousands and thousands of feet of film through this machine. Um, and I absolutely love this machine. But I've recently upgraded it. I've upgraded it to the 2K camera, which is higher resolution than HD. And I've upgraded the lighting source to the, what I think they call it the ultra light, ultra bright source. Um, it's pretty much twice, maybe more than that, twice the brightness. And the combination of these two is absolutely phenomenal. Love it. Great, great machine. Now, with the old uh, system, films like this, you would struggle a wee bit with because this isn't a really well-lit film. But you wouldn't know it looking at this here. And it's, this new lighting source and the new camera has got a much better latitude and a much better dynamic range for scanning really poor films and this film I've had uh, headaches with, real headaches with, this whole batch I've had real headaches with um, but with this film it's, goes through, it's going through really really nicely and you've got, as I say, I've got this right down to minus 23 with the old camera I would have had to have it right up here because it just would never have coped with it this is coping with it extremely well and for me that's one of the biggest advantages with this particular uh, new setup um, is not just the higher resolution. I was quite happy with the resolution it was outputting, um, but the fact that it will scan darker films without any headaches. You just leave it running and that is tremendous. Um, the other awesome thing with this new kit is you, the grain is so, so much uh, cleaner. With the old one, every film I had to apply neat video in the edit. And that took time, that took rendering time, it took time to do. Um, and with this new one, I've run quite a few films through it since I installed it, which was four or five days ago. And in the edit, you don't need to apply neat video. I mean, you can do if you're really finicky, but you generally don't need to. Now, that speeds up the output of discs to customers. Phenomenal, it is a really, really good upgrade path. And I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, this whole unit scans films cleanly. Um, I'll show you once this is scanned how you actually set the unit up for focus. And that's another big advantage with this new 2K camera kit. It's got this switch on the top here. So you've got a switch between scan and still. So put it in still mode and set this software to the right setting. And you can focus an individual frame. You don't need to run the film anymore to focus the film. With the old camera, you had to run the film through to get the focus. And that was a real pain, pain in the butt because you had to then wind the film back and rerun it again. And I found that really frustrating. And I got used to it, but I found that uh, frustrating and annoying. So, uh, and also obviously um, there's various gates. You've got your Super 8, regular 8 gate, you've got your 16 mil gate and what have you. Um, Obviously, this is a standard 8 film, so I'm using the regular 8 stroke Super 8 gate to run this particular film. And um, as I say, it runs them really, really nicely. I can't think of another unit that's so incredibly well made that is as good as this at this price point. I also have, uh, which I bought when I bought the machine, the 16mm gate, which is this one here. Um, and as I said, when I said to you it's very modular, it is very modular. You literally undo those two bolts and you put this one in its place. Plug a lead in the back and away you go. You're set up to convert 16 mil film. He also does, uh, Roger also makes a 9.5 gate and a slide gate for transferring slides. Well, I don't have any need for um, uh, the slide gates. I don't do slide scanning and I very rarely get any uh, call for 9.5 film. Maybe in the future I will buy the 9.5 gate. Um, also with this 16 mil gate, it will transfer 16 mil optical sound, um, as well as obviously 16 mil silent film. 
where the Super 8 regular 8 gate and 9.5 gate only do silent. There's no sound head on these machines. Um, but that isn't really a, an issue because you get very, very few inquiries. I get very few for sound film, um, so I don't worry about it. So that's basically um, the machine. I've had it two years now, very pleased with it. Um, as I say, it doesn't damage the film. Even films with bad sprockets will go through this because there's no clutches, there's no claws dragging the film through. Um, it's an LED light source, so completely safe for your films. It's not like your traditional uh, cine projectors. Um, so from that point of view, it's very, very, very good. Um, and as I say, was this upgrade worth it? Oh yeah, for sure it was. Um, you get a much cleaner image, virtually grain free, you get a really, really nice sharp image. Um, and once you put it into the edit suite, it's pretty much ready to go straight out to your customer once you've actually produced the DVD, obviously. And um, I'm very delighted with the machine. Um, and as I said earlier about it being modular, when he sent the upgrade kit through, you installed it yourself. So you have to take the machine apart. Um, I say apart, just take the back off basically. And you only need a Phillips screwdriver. There's no soldering to do. And the instructions that are on his website are very, very good. Um, now he's put a lot of thought into the, uh, the instructions and they're very, very good. And um, yeah, it take, took me and Mandy probably about 45 minutes to do because we were very specific in following the instructions. We wanted to get it right. Um, so yeah, that is basically the machine with the 2K camera, um, higher resolution. I'll show you in just a moment once it's actually scanned this film, um, how you, you know, how easy the software is to use now. And I'll quickly go through that and I'll quickly go through um, setting up for focus because that to me is a tremendous benefit with how you actually um, focus for film. Okay, so now we're going to actually set the film up and we're going to uh, focus it before we run the film. Obviously, I've just run the film, but you would normally focus it before you run the film. I'd already done that, but I'm just going to show you, demonstrate now how you actually uh, get the focus set. So, cue your film up and you click on, on the software, you click on live and it comes up with a message basically saying make sure the film is, the, the camera is in still mode. So, click OK. And then you click on preview just to make sure you preview an image. And there you get a live feed through of the actual film. Isn't that about absolutely fantastic? And then you can uh, go away and just sharpen up the film like so. So now when you run that film, you know that's sharp. But you don't need to run the film first of all. So I'm very, very pleased with that particular upgrade. And that's a combination, I would imagine, of hardware upgrade and also software upgrade. So now we'll go out of that and click that and click that and we can turn that off now. Um, we've also got, if you go into settings, uh, we've got here the um, universal 2K camera uh, box which is great because that's designed with this camera. And we've got different resolutions you can set for capture. So you've got 1.3 megabits, you've got full HD, uh, 2K 4.3 and 2K 16.9. So there's a lot more variance there for capturing film, um, which you didn't have with the previous camera. So um, that in itself is great. Um, I wouldn't normally use, uh, the, I'd normally do it in HD because that's uh, more than adequate for uh, what I do and what my customers want because of the way, uh, you know, old standard 8 Super 8 film, you don't need to do it any higher than HD. Um, I don't think you do. Um, but 16mm film is a different matter. I would, I would transfer 16mm as either 2K 4.3 or 2K 16.9. Because um, that gives you even higher resolution and 16mm film is high resolution film. Um, so that's the setting I would use for 16mm. Um, and then outputting, you've now got compressed fast um, and uh, very slow. Now, fast is completely fine. I've done tests between, for fast and very slow. Very slow is ideal if you want the highest quality for, um, not, not for going on YouTube or not for DVD. 
but um, if you want to produce Blu-ray discs or whatever, you would probably want to output it as a very slow uh, compression, and it is slow. Um, but I tend to use fast. That's completely fine. For DVD use, uh, I'm, I would say 90% of my customers want their films put onto DVD. Um, that's a perfect compression and it looks lovely on DVD, no problem with that whatsoever. And it outputs it really quickly. So um, again, very pleased with those settings. Roger has recommended a HP PC for me to get, but I can't find one here in the UK, what he's recommended. So what I've done, I've boot camped my I'm 27 inch iMac and that's working great. That's now running Windows 10 as well as the Mac operating system and I'm not having an issue with that and I've run this for probably, I don't know, six, seven months, maybe longer, maybe 12 months, who knows. Um, yeah, so I'm completely happy with that. So there you go, that's my um, thoughts on the uh, new movie stuff, retro scan, 2K camera and uh, the ultralight lighting system. Uh, very, very pleased with the results. Um, I'm very pleased with the unit. So well done, Roger. You've got a good piece of kit there. Um, and yeah, maybe in the future I will get the 9.5 gate. Certainly won't bother with the slides. Um, so there we go. Thanks for watching this. I do hope you enjoy my channel. And if you are interested in photo and video gear, take a look at some of my other reviews. Um, I do appreciate that. They do take time to do, but I enjoy doing them. So thanks very much for watching and I uh, hope you found this useful and uh, see you again soon. Cheers for now. Bye.